happening in Palooza Party? It's your girl Gigi and you are watching Anime Palooza. Today we're going to pull in the Sugary Little Devil Halloween set. That's a lot to say um, basically that this is my dream except for the fact that I wanted to be vampires. Um, but they're, they're devils. For full disclosure, um, I, are, I have been pulling paid solos out of here with the little paid prisons I have left. I have already pulled the Kamu. You wanna look at him? Let's go look at him real fast. Look at this. I don't think he's ever gonna leave my home screen. <laughs> ever. Look at him. Ugh, he even said the Halloween line right now too. Ugh, everything about this I love. Everything about this I love. So, um, yeah, it's <laughs> It sucks that this set is coming at such a horrible time where I'm still not over my salt train, but I do have 300 prisms, which means we're gonna pull today our first full one, which means we're guaranteed to get one photo from the set. Uh, Masato's are you are in this side. We are going for the Ren since we already have the Kamu. So we're basically only scouting for the Ren, but I kind of want all of them. Um, unfortunately, it's not gonna happen. Oh, because I'm not going to buy prisms. But let's take a look at this. Uh, we have a 2% chance of getting Halloween Candy Devil Masato and a 19.6 chance of getting anybody else. This goes up to the Fruits a la Mode set. I keep having to... Oh, no. Rock and Summer Night. Sorry. Fruits a la Mode comes before Rock and Summer Night. And like I said, I've already got the Kamu, so we just need the Ren. Uh, their 3D models don't have the fangs. That's kind of disappointing. Like... If these were vampires, I would want the fangs. So let's just see what we got out of here. I do have my uh, compensation gold tickets also to pull right now, which we're going to do because I need prisms. All right. We want to see as many yellow and as many rainbow stars as possible. Let's get our scouting on. All right. So that last one's guaranteed to be from the set. The other one can be whatever it wants. And this could be it. It is. We're done. I don't want to say we're done because I want them all. He looks... He looks weird. Like, the facial expression doesn't go with the outfit. Let's keep going. Let's see who's at the end. Um, I don't need any of these rares. We're just going to go through them. Because I don't need them. To 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 tokia I know we just got a new rare set, but I feel like I need another rare set because I'm done. Don't... I hate and love it at the same time because it means we can go real fast, but it also means there's no more prisms. Oh my gosh, double runs. It looks like he should be holding his mi a microphone. That's what makes it awkward. That's cool. This double run has just netted us 10 prisms. Let's take a look at him. Yeah, technically we're done, <laughs> but I'm going to keep pulling out of this with the next 300 free that we get. I feel that in his right hand, he should be holding a microphone. That's what's throwing me off right now. Like, and he's just way too happy to be a devil. Also, he doesn't have fangs in his photo. Maybe only Masato gets fangs. I don't know, but I'm really happy I've gotten the two cards that I absolutely needed to have out of the set in these pulls. So we're really only pulling for completionist sake. I just realized that like Reiji's horns look different than everybody else's and Cecil's looks different. Actually, you know what? They all look different. <laughs> Forget it. Forget it. Um, no points. No blue tickets. Three gold tickets. Where we're still pulling for Picnic Tokyo. Let's get her scouting on. Picnic Tokyo has not graced us yet. And it won't be this. <laughs> That's a medal. I really... I really don't need Halloween cards. <laughs> I don't need them. Let's get our scouting on. I really need... I don't even know. <laughs> Not this. <laughs> I have so many of these. Actually, I probably should have just waited to pull all these gold tickets because I don't really need anything except for Picnic Tokia and maybe one or two more from the fruit set. Yeah, I think that's really all I'm missing. Oh, well, let's get her scouting on. <laughs> Be really nice, this is Picnic Tokyo. Picnic Tokyo? Ugh. Ah, uh, Sleeping Eye. Picnic Eye got the picnic part right. 
uh, he could possibly be useful. It's been a hot minute since we've pulled Picnic Eye, so I can't remember. Anyway, I will scout in the Halloween set again, so here you go. So I said I'd be back to pulling this. Um, I have been doing solos, and I did get the Cecil in a solo. This is going to be my last pull. I know, short video this time, but I'm going to save prisms for the other side when I do have three best boys over there. Um, and I have gotten all my best boys out of this one, plus the Cecil. So I'm really hoping I pull that Ragey or that Masato right now. Uh, also, they have added and taken away sets. So the uh, second Halloween with Haunted Mansion, Kamu and Ren are gone. Oops. Along with uh, one other one. I can't remember what it is right now at the top of my head. Um, but they did add in third Halloween, which is their trick-or-treating set, the one where Natsuki and Tokyo are sitting on the moon. Um, and they also added Cop Camu. I need a lot out of the cop side. Uh, I need like two cards out of the second Halloween one. So let's see what this last photo shoot will bring, and then I'll do whatever bonus stuff I have. Um, and I'll also talk about the compensation stuff from the uh, Natsuki event we don't like to mention. But for now, let's get our scouting on. Wow, that's really good. <laughs> I'm glad I pulled one more time. Let's hope these are from the set though. That would be nice. An eye is not from this set. Lemon eye though is useful, not a metal, so I'm good with that. Do do do. Ooh, ooh. Oh. This waiter Reiji, I don't think I have him. Is he supposed to be a waiter? <laughs> I don't remember. But it's from the cop set. I don't think I have that card, so that's good. Oh, come on. Give me a Reiji at the end. Oh, I have you. Okay. So I did pull Cecil out of a solo, but I have him. So it's fine. All right. So that this card is new. Waiter. He is a waiter. Ra waiter Reiji out of the cop set. His eyes are very shiny. I don't know. He <laughs> doesn't really look like a waiter to me. <laughs> I mean, the, the tie does, but like the clipboard doesn't. I don't know. It's weird. Oops, I didn't want to do that. Okay, so let's, uh, we're done with this. We're done now. We're, we're good. We got what we came for. So we're trying to not be greedy. Um, so what, what did we talk about the last time? Uh, I talked about compensation. Oh, so Caleb emailed me one more time after I complained and told, you know, said how fair, unfair it was for the compensation for the event. And they basically told me, um, they would consider my email as feedback, quote, um, and that uh, because they couldn't tell the time periods of everyone that was locked out, they basically gave compensation for what they felt was appropriate, which means they took the people who were locked out for the least amount of time instead of everybody who was locked out for 14 plus hours like I was. Um, and I was not happy. And... They left me a link for a satisfaction survey. <laughs> Needless to say, I wasn't satisfied. You really don't want to know what I wrote on that survey. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm very unhappy with still with the way the whole thing was handled. I'm slightly less salty, but at the same time, it just wasn't handled correctly. I mean, if they would have read the emails from the people who actually got locked out, like. It was a long time for the vast majority of us. And for those that were, it was only a couple hours, still worth more than 150 prisms and three gold tickets. Anyway, I have a 10% UR rate up, so let's pull for fucking summer night show. God, give me this card. Let's get her scouting on. Okay, give me Picnic Tokyo. Maybe. Fuck. That's okay. I need more copies of this one, so it's fine. That's a good, that's finally a good gold star pull. And then I don't know, I have one, one gold ticket to still pull for Picnic Tokyo. <laughs> Let's get her scouting on. Come on. That's a Kamu. Picnic Kamu. Uh, I can't remember if I finally maxed her or not. I know I maxed Mushroom Atoya, but I can't remember if I finally maxed this card. I guess we'll take a look in a couple minutes. So that's going to be it for my Sugary Little Devil Halloween Part 1 scouting. Like I said, got the Ren, got the Kamu. That's all we were going for. So I'm happy. Got Cecil as a little extra. 
Uh, what did you guys get during this scout and who are you going for? Let me know down in the comments and we'll have our little party. As always, I want to thank my Shining Life patrons, Katarina, Jazzy, Mia, and Dylan. Thank you guys so much for helping me out on my Patreon. If you guys want to get a shout out of your own, you can go to patreon.com slash animepalooza or my link is in the down bar. If you want to send me something to unbox for my channel, my PO box is down there as well. I post videos on most Wednesdays and Saturdays. As always, feel free to follow me on Twitter, Twitch, my anime list, or my figure collection. My username is animepalooza at those places. And until next time, love your faces.